C.H. Spurgeon was converted at 15 and many people came to know the Lord Jesus through him. Here are some stories about him. Hello children! Welcome to another episode of Spurgeon Stories for Children by Tony Hatter. Today's story is Catching a Fly and the Bible verse is from John chapter 10 verse 10 and it says, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Now for some true stories about Spurgeon himself. He was born in 1834 in a village called Kilvidon in Essex. If you are ever in that area, you could find the house in the high street where he was born and you will see a blue plaque on the wall. One day when he was at home, and he was still quite young, he happened to look at the window, and he saw something on the window pane. It was a fly. He thought to himself, I'll catch it. Have you ever tried to catch a fly? If you have, you will know that it flies away very quickly. Spurgeon knew this too. So he went towards the window very carefully, very quietly. Just before he got to the window, he cupped his hands and quickly put them on the window pane and then brought his hands together. I've got it, he thought to himself. He took his hands away from the window and opened them just a little so he could look at the fly he had caught. But it wasn't there. He looked back at the window, and there was the fly still on the pen. He couldn't understand how he could have missed it. But he thought that he would try again. So he carefully, quietly went to the window. Carefully, quietly, he cupped his hands, and carefully, quietly brought them together again. This time, He must have caught the fly. But when he looked, the fly wasn't in his hands. And when he looked at the window, there was the fly. Spurgeon couldn't understand it until he realized that the fly was on the outside of the window pane, not on the inside. No wonder he couldn't catch it. Later on, Spurgeon saw that many people are like that. And I'll tell you how. What do people want from life? They want to be happy, to have peace deep in their hearts. They want to know that they are loved. And they don't want to feel guilty because of the wrong things they have done. But they try to get these things from anyone but the Lord Jesus Christ. They are trying to get what they want and need on the wrong side of the window. You can only get these things when you are on the side of Jesus, when you have trusted in him. On the wrong side of the window, you won't get what you need. On the right side of the window, where the Lord Jesus is, you will get what you need in life. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. John chapter 10 verse 10. So children, from today's story, we have learned that we only get peace, joy, and love from the Lord Jesus Christ. So look to him to find these things. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful for Jesus Christ, in whom we can find love, in whom we can find joy and peace and happiness. We pray that you will help us and you will help the children to trust him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.